guys, what's up? It's Giz. You know what time it is? Um, I know it's been a while, um, so I just thought to give you an update on how am I doing. Uh -huh. Right now it's July, what day is it? July 15th. So it's July 15th at the moment. I'm right now in Korea, not in Tokyo. I'm in my soul, I'm in my soul house because I had to take care of some personal family businesses. And um, it's been quite a while since I took a, I guess my vacation. So I'm right now on holiday. At the same time, because of the COVID-19, I'm right now, I guess, in self-quarantine for two weeks. Um, I have like four more days left, I think. Uh, I cannot leave my house at all, or because they put kind of like this tracking uh, thing. Um, so I feel kind of like a prisoner, but that's why I've been not been able to upload some content. So, but for the moment, I did bring most of my clothes back to Korea. So while I'm in quarantine, I thought it might be also nice to do some, I guess, closet tour. Some of this is going to be a repeated contest, I guess, for the people who has been following along my journey. For the people who's going to come new, I guess, um, it can have, can be a good, I guess, chance to get to know me a little bit better and my kind of taste. And if you have, even if you guys look over my wardrobe, you'll kind of have a feeling of what the types of pieces that I like. Let's have a quick tour at the room first, actually. So this is my room. Much bigger than my Japan room. Then closets. And oops. That's my, I guess. This is the living room. And then this is so let's go see the closet. Welcome to Disneyland. Awesome. So the jacket, Rick Owens, it's famous jacket, famous puff it down jacket, Rick Owens, 18 AW, um, the woman's cropped down jacket. I have a size 40. Eight or 46, not really quite sure, but it fits very big. It's supposed to be cropped, but because I do have a, I guess, a good size, it doesn't fit as cropped. Um, but yeah, incredibly light fabric, very long, extended, elongated uh, arms. Um, the part where you can, where you can sling it across your shoulders when you carry it around. If you get kind of too hot. Yeah, so the next one is my Isemiyake Sports Bomber in the size 9. Um, I guess this one is kind of, I guess, iconic in the back with the IS logo. Uh, I know many people have these bom this bomber as well. Mine is a cotton version. Um, I know there's a nylon one and other ones and the wool one as well, but just like this cotton version as well looks very like kind of like rugged, kind of like uh, I guess kind of like a construction vibe as well. Um, I think this bomber does it suits the Asian I guess structure proportions very well as well. The arms are a little bit short, so it fits perfectly with me. Um, the length is short as well. It has a I guess a wide body and the crop length and but most of all it's faded beautifully um it's kind of like my everyday bomber at the moment um yeah uh, what else uh, uh yeah so this one i especially like the shoulder part 
Um, the shoulder pattern as well. I don't know, like when you wear it, it kind of feels quite structured. So, very nice bump. Yes, my Josanda Swayze GD jacket. Incredibly rare. I think this is the jacket that I personally found that was really under the radar. I just fell in love with it immediately when I saw it in the stores. I do have both colors. Um, that's gonna be shown a little bit later on, but it just has an incredible fabrication, um, incredible details, um, construction is detachable into a vest as well. Um, but this one, especially in the back, in the rounded cut part, is beautiful. You know, I always love the asymmetric, asymmetric cuts, so. Also the color for this is very, it's not a black, it's not gray. It's kind of like this bluish black, which is quite very beautiful when you see it in person as well. Um, very wide, boxy, fluid kind of feeling. Very, I can't describe this fabric, but I think because of this fabrication, the retail was super high, um, but yeah. And it has the zippers that goes, all the way around the neck and concealed pockets. This is by far my favorite jacket in my wardrobe. So. The next one is the Macintosh 0001 uh, blazer by Kiko Kostadinov. Um, it's kind of like the blazer that I wear for work a lot. There's five concealed buttons in the front and in the back, there's also the same buttons in the same positioning. Um, so, and on the arms, it has the rubber, I guess, details, Macintosh's signature. But basically, this is kind of like what I wear for work, so. Yeah, so the next one is a cabin flight jacket that I recently copped. Also, kind of like wide in the width. It's actually kind of my first cabin piece. But this jacket I just copped because I think the color is quite beautiful. It's kind of like this, I don't know, grayish, purplish kind of vibe. But with the red, um, it's actually kind of perfect. So it's a very light jacket, good for kind of like spring summer. So it also matches well with my Air Jordans as well. I paired it with my uh, Air Jordan 1 breads with the curry laces. Uh, but basically flight jacket, zippers, and then I guess the buttons, snap buttons. Um, four pockets here. And the cabinet, I guess, design here. And most of all, if you open, Open the back here. There's a concealed hoodie. There's a concealed hoodie where you can wear it as a hoodie, but I rarely do it like this. Kind of like I kind of look funny, you know. Like, like I don't know. Like my, my head shape is a little bit funny if I wear it. Like maybe it's because I wore it with the cap, but it's a nice additional layer of detail of the red. So I don't really see this color combination off. Yes, the so next one is also an incredible jacket uh, from a new designer, Per Gottesen Aviator Jacket, the runway version. Woo, this one, purple, and the purple, purple, I guess, purple colorway. There's also another colorway and a little bit more beige, beige's grayish as well. But this one, the back is so crazy. There's so many patterns. The construction is amazing, as you can see, and the way it flows down in the arm part is very beautiful, very drapey. And yes, again, a short length, crop length. Uh, if you close it, it becomes more like a, kind of like a, I don't like it kind of close. I like it open, it's more drapey, but this is 
a very beautiful jacket. The inside lining is very kind of silky and smooth. It makes you feel good when you wear it. Um, but, oh yeah, and also this panel here, when wind blows, I think you guys saw me in the previous video, it kind of becomes like a booster, so. Yes, the next one, the Martin Rose color blocked ray jacket, technical fabrics, waterproof, you can hear it, the sound as well, snap cuffs. Um, but again, this one, the beauty part is in the back. It has this round cut that I like. This one is a little bit more exaggerated. I think this one looks beautiful in the back as well. Um, multiple pockets and I don't know, like the hood here. Very boxy cut. This one's super nice. There's a lot of fakes. I explained how to spot a fake and a real one. Differences in my previous video, so please check that out. But yeah. So the next one, Kiko Kostadinov A6 collaboration 0007 collection, part of. Um, beautiful colors. It's called the slate gray, actually, but it kind of looks mintish. You know, I love this color. Um, same thing. Wide cut, crop length. Um, if you wear it like this, you can be protected from the wind. Snap it on the back. You become stupid. Unfasten it. And then you wear it kind of like, like this, kind of like in the runway version. They started like this, very open. Um, in the back as well. Um, if you look at this part, there's a hidden pocket here where you can storage maybe, um, I don't know, um, hot packs. <laughs> um, it's kind of like useless pocket. Yep, so this is the same jacket Jill Sander, first collection. Uh, the Swayze GD jacket in a mint color. Beautiful color, but the same thing as the as my black one. So I won't explain it too much, but I will show how it separates into a vest. Like that. Here comes the vest. So the next one is vintage Le Mer, Christophe Le Mer piece. I'm um, not really sure if it will show in the camera, but it's a very pale mint, waterish color, but it might look white in the, in the, in the video, but very beautiful color. Um, this also can be worn multiple ways. Well, first of all, if you choose to, wait, it has a high collar, high collar like that. Or what I like to do normally is to wear it just like simple straight like this. Um, also, it does, if you open this part as well, it does reveal the hood part as well. So, yep. So kind of like similar to the cab dent, it does have the concealed hood part as well. Kind of very cute, but the highlight of this jacket is the sleeves are detachable into a vest. Uh, I'm not gonna do it right now because it's very annoying to put it back on. So if you guys are curious, you guys can check my previous videos. Next one is also an underrated new designer. A friend of Perk Goldison graduated from the same school. His name is Anar Mar Johnson. I'm very excited for his works. This piece right here is exclusive version, bleached denim jacket. I think bleached maybe five times, washed. Um, told me it was very difficult to make. It's quite expensive too, but I think it was worth it to support these kind of new designers. Um, one of three released in ZSC, then sourcing Tokyo, shop I always go to. The back is incredible. This is kind of like a signature pattern in the back, um, but 
yeah, and then there's multiple strings, kind of like a Pinocchio, like kind of vibe, but yeah. And then it has a concealed pocket here and then a pocket under here on this side as well. Um, very nice jacket. Um, if it bleeds wrong, it can kind of look cheap, but this one, I think he did it very nicely. So it looks kind of dope, so. Okay, next jacket is my soloist flight jacket type two, orange. Very, very interesting fabrics made from Survive Outdoor longer fabrics. Normally used to preserve heat. Um, yeah, you can wear it like this as like a backpack, kind of like, you know, like a parachute. Um, but also, I mean, there's so many multiple ways to wear this. I'm not gonna show you guys all because it's quite even complicated for me, but this is how it looks when, I guess, worn the most normal way possible. But the sh this shade of orange is very beautiful. It's not like too neon-ish, um, but yeah, multiple pockets. This part can be open so you can pull your arms outside as well. Um, yeah, this one is, I think, incredible. Definitely a future archive piece from the Solis for sure. Next one is a jacket that probably didn't show before. Probably didn't show this before. It's a Louis Vuitton. Dorothy, was it a boss? I guess, uh, windbreaker jacket. Um, you know I love windbreakers, so it has a very similar, I guess, cut. But very beautiful nylon, high quality nylon. Not really sure if nylon is high quality, but yeah. Um, very smooth fabric, smooth feeling. Um, little Dorothy is sleeping here. I zip it up. I like to wear it and zip it up, zipped up. I love this jacket, first collection of Virgil Abloh. I think he did great with the Wizard of Oz things. Um, so. Um, yeah, so this one is also another one from Virgil's first collection, known as the Brick Road, the Wizard of Oz. Purple, nice gradation of color, size medium, I think. Um, yeah, this is one of my favorite pieces from the collection. You can wear it with anything, it's very soft, buttery uh, feeling as well. Never actually wore it outside yet, but maybe in this fall I might. Um, but very nice fit as well. To top this actually, um, wait. It's a very Hamelang inspired piece, harness. Oh, I am so hot right now. Still have the tags for this, never wore this. Um, but, kind of like, this is kind of the feeling that you can wear for a, for a fall outfit. With the teal gray. Kind of same color as the Balenciaga one. So. Yeah, so the next one is the Louis Vuitton Virgin Abloh's first collection, Utility Gillette, Orange Gillette. Mm, I don't know why I bought this actually. Uh, I thought it looked cool, but it's kind of difficult to wear, honestly. But it's very tight. Um, big pocket on the back. Um, the surprising part is like, even the inside lining is Louis Vuitton here. Um, I'm gonna, there's gonna be a B-roll, but yeah, it's a very neon orange color. Uh, I think it was quite popular among celebrities as well. Um, I do think it is quite of an iconic piece, so I bought it, um, but I haven't had the chance to wear it so far outside. Because you know, in the summer, it's, you can kind of wear this in the summer, but it's kind of hot right now actually to wear it, so. Um, yeah, but beautiful color actually, it's very pop, so it goes well with the white t-shirts and everything, so it could be a quite of a nice 
additional accessory in the summer if you feel bored, so. So the next vest is also is a, is a bag vest, very utility, three big pockets here. Uh, this is also by Per Gotesin. Um He is such an amazing designer. Um, but yeah, so you strap this in, in, in the back. Mm. Let me see if I can do this by myself. Okay, but you guys get the feeling, right? So it's kind of like a bag and a vest at the same time. Three big pockets where you can fill a lot of stuff in. Um, it came in two colorways, green and beige. I thought the beige one looked a little bit better, so I bought the beige colorway. Um, this is very, very useful when you don't want to carry a backpack, so. Yep, so the next one. Very rare Kiko Kostadinov piece. First collection, 001, the hospital shirt. Very grail, Incre uh, incredibly hard to find. It's just like a hospital gown, so like a nurse gown, you know, like the Joker vibes, Heath Ledger vibes. So why so serious? Next one is Brick Owens Babel Pusher Pants. Pretty sure everybody knows this pants, quite famous. First pants, Kiko Kostadina 0002 OG Triple Dark Pants. Um, the pleating and the darts, very nice along the lines of the pants. Um, Ventile made from Ventile fabrics, uh, water resistance. It's one of my favorite pants, my daily pants as well. This is just a simple, straightforward pants from Hammerlang. Thick O2, um, nicely aged, kind of like purplish, grayish. As elastic, so it's very comfortable. It has two pockets here. Um, but yeah, basically kind of like a straightforward fit. Kind of slightly tapered. It looks quite well with uh, like crystals, like Visman crystals. It looks, it goes perfectly well. So. This one is my Chrome Hearts Fatigue Cargo Pants. I think released 10 years ago, Japan exclusive. It has, the hardware is all silver, just like I think total of 18 or 20 um, silver hardware. Very nice cargo pants with full pockets. Um, no, actually not full pockets, there's six pockets. Zero seven Irene trousers in the gray fabric, gray twill fabric. Um, this one was a web exclusive, extra small size, very rare. I think I'm the only one. I think maybe it's either one of one or one of two. I'm not really sure, but very rare. That's amazing, good, soft, butter like fabrics and double weight zippers on the kind of that runs all from the bottom to the top. Um, but yeah, this is a very nice pants that goes well with either derbies or either combat boots and also white sneakers. So now the next one is the tactical trousers from Louis Vuitton Virgil's first collection. Very nice construction, but I guess mainly the color um, speaks for itself. And the fit is quite, I guess, a fitted fit rather than a like, kind of like a baggy fit. I personally thought this would be quite suitable with the Air Dior's, but 
Um, no LDRs for me, so this pants became kind of useless. Um, all jokes aside, I do think this can be paired with like a nice pair of combat boots as well as maybe some white Converse sneakers as well. Um, Coco starting up 0004, the black trousers, um, the beige color, so very nice combination of, forgot the fabrics, but it's a very, it's a little piano fabric, um, very nice, very nice pants for the summer as well, um, but basically, I think this is also one of the highly coveted uh, pairs from among the Kiko Costadina. Uh, mainly because of the zippers on the bottom where you can, I guess, open it up and then it reveals another separate panel. Um, but yeah, it's a very high-waisted trouser, uh, water-resistant, very breathable fabric as well. So. Trousers. I'm not really sure what Miuya means, but this one it has amazing, I guess, details, especially in the bottom part. Amazing fit. I went for a size small. I think it fits the size waist 29 to 30 perfectly. Has a beautiful, I guess, Orion blue color. Um, but yeah, so this one I pair it with normally with my white boots, especially the Raf CK boots. Um, but it goes well with, I guess, white Converse sneakers as well. Um, the Balenciaga paddled runway jeans. I think it was spring summer 2018. Um, there were many various versions of these. Uh, where it has different colors and different fabrics. For me, uh, this is the one that I kept because it felt like the leather one is quite, I guess, um, unique. Um, but yeah, so this panel of jeans, it's, it's segmented into, I guess, three parts where you can, I guess, uh, where you can, where you can cut off the, uh, where you can unzip. Um, but yeah, so, Nice pair of jeans. I'm not gonna show all the pants, but this is the last pants that I'm gonna show. Levi's, vintage Levi's orange tap 517 boot cut pants. Um, I love the wash on this. The beautifully, very light faded wash. Um, before, I used to have a little bit more darker color, but then I prefer a little bit more lighter washes. So I sold those and bought these, uh, bought the new ones. Um, but these just go with everything. Um, it's just kind of like my baby pants as well. Craft shirts. So I'll show you. Um, so like on white on white, Um, like a white on white, so so it's like like do it like that, then use up a little spikes, so. Or I can just wear it kind of like a, a gun holster like this. And it's pretty nice. I love this harness. Awesome. And this one is one I actually like. This one is my girlfriend's Eons. So the one pocket version of the RAV, normally the, for the people who know, the cut is trash. 
So she cropped it and it looks so much better now. So, and this one she got me for my birthday present. So this is kind of like a car couple shirt, like Virgil, Virgil. <laughs>